Good morning, it's day 29 today and I slept a lot better last night. It was still really cold but I did sleep well and set off from camp about half past seven. Um, I ended up doing 17 miles yesterday. No idea what we're gonna do today, probably maybe 17 or 18, I'm not quite sure. Just see what the day brings, maybe more, maybe less. But it's strange this morning, it's, um, it's like I'm walking through a maze. Everywhere I'm going is kind of like zigzagging so at one point I was like, am I actually still heading north? Because you kind of get confused because you're not just going in a straight line. I mean, you, you expect switchbacks and things, but there's lots of strange terrain this morning. It's kind of strange. But feeling good this morning, everything feels fine. And the pack's starting to feel a bit less, which is good because I'm eating more food. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. It looks like we've got rain planned today though. Um, we've heard on the forecast there's about an 80% chance of rain. But that's different, you know, I've not had much rain before and yeah, I'm going to keep walking because it's still really cold this morning and I'll speak to you later. when you actually look on the maps and find out that you're walking downhill most of the day you kind of get a bit of excitement going on thinking oh it's going to be an easier day but then the downhill <laughs> can just be a little bit more evil than you realize so this is kind of what i've been walking through for a little while it's i think it's a hiker's worst nightmare having a heavy backpack on you and then scrambling over all these stones for ages literally just come around the corner and see this great big wooden bridge across the river i think that's the first one on the pct so far I've just come over the bridge and I've now stopped for some lunch. So let me show you what I'm gonna have today. These are Mary's Gone Crackers, which have got all kinds of brown rice, quinoa, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, flax seeds, poppy seeds, and then some kind of herbs and ingredients. So I'm looking forward to having some of those. It makes a difference in tortilla wraps. And then I've got some tofurkey, which is my prote protein for the day. Um, they're just like slices that I got from town. I've got an orange that I've carried out and also a seaweed snack. So I'm looking forward to sitting here and enjoying those. The weather is acting so strange today. It's like, it's like being back in the UK, it really is. I'm actually hiking in a puffy in the desert, midday. It's about two o'clock, so strange. This is the trail that I've come from and this is the way I'm going. It's all kind of rocky today and up and down, following a river most of the day, but it's nice and cool. It's good to kind of get a bit of a pace on without being too, too hot and bothered which is kind of nice for a change oh we've got a little dude a little lizard friend um yeah it's it's been good i've really enjoyed my food 
I've felt like <laughs> I've probably eaten too much at lunchtime. My body was craving tofurkey for some reason today, so I just ate the whole packet. But this is a lovely area again. It's all very different, but it's been kind of, I don't know, there's lots of kind of rocks and everything everywhere. Um, a lot of greenery, not what you expect from a desert really, but I like it. been hiking along this afternoon and came to this absolutely gorgeous little spot where there's water everywhere it is so nice so just filled up on some water but we're not actually allowed to camp here because we were reading a little sign before and they're protecting the toads so I'm not quite sure what toads they are I'm gonna try and find out but that's quite funny that we're not allowed to camp because of the toads I think they must be protected or something but I think that's kind of cute I am just passing the biggest yucca, I'm sure it's called a yucca, that I've ever seen in my life. Look at it behind me. It's absolutely huge and that starts from below where I'm standing. It's massive. just come across this new little plant I've not seen this one before it's so cute it's kind of like all fluffy and then it blooms it's very pretty I keep seeing weird things today I've come across this bush and it's kind of like all weird little seed things I don't know if you can see this or not One's come out. It's actually come out of the hole. This is so weird. I don't quite know what's going on. I've never seen anything like it. It's like a little hive of caterpillars. That is so freaky. There it goes, look. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing. It's like it's doing weird little aerobics or some kind of dancing. <laughs> The grass is actually bigger than me in this section, it's quite funny. <laughs> it's so tall. I love it. It's such a beautiful section. Oh. <laughs> it is so pretty. All, this, all the grasses are like pinks and purples and oh, I absolutely love this section of the trail. It's quite late at night so the colours are kind of, when I say late it's probably only about five o'clock but you can see all the colours behind me. It's so nice. So I've set up camp and I've been getting my dinner ready. So today it was a great day. I feel exhausted today, I'm not quite sure why. I think it's just one of those days. So I've made sure that I've been eating lots of protein and some good food. So tonight I'm actually having a Cuban coconut rice and black bean mix, which is Backpacker's Pantry, if you can see that. And this has got 
um, white rice, black beans, some different types of herbs and powders and it's made with coconut milk and banana powder so that's kind of interesting and then it comes with like a little sachet of olive oil in that you can mix it in as well so what you have to do with this one is just add in some hot water two cups um, which is about 480 mils and then you leave it to stand for 15 or 20 minutes and because I like my greens as well I've been cooking some spinach so I still had some left over from the other day I'll try and show you this without spilling it anyway so that's all my spinach in the pot and I'm just about to cook that up and what I will then do is just add it straight into the packet of the the black bean rice mixture so I'm looking forward to that I always try and get healthy stuff as much as possible on trail I am finding it pretty hard to find um, freeze-dried vegetables and fruits and things which I need to try and work on I think I might have to order some off Amazon or I think there's some companies out there that deliver to different places on trail so no doubt I'll end up doing that at some point because I am missing my vegetables quite a lot on trail and finding that quite a hard thing to source but I'm, I'll get there I'm trying my best and I hope you've enjoyed the day and I'm gonna say goodnight now because what I've got to do is finish eating do a bit of yoga and some stretching after dinner and stitch up my trousers again because I'd stitched up the side because they'd got too big but for some reason the stitching's come undone I'm not doing very well with this so I've got a little bit of sewing to do before bedtime but yeah, I will say good night. Good night.